Hello, hi guys, my name is Sarvansh and thank you for watching my the other videos about Intune tutorial. So today's video we are going to talk about the filters in Intune. So this is something new features Microsoft added into Intune. So we'll learn in this video what is filters, how you can create the filters, how you can test it and then how you can troubleshoot the filters whether it's working or not so we'll see all those steps and practically in this video so let me start this now so here is something like filter features and the benefit what are the features and the benefit we'll be getting when we are using the filters so improve flexibility and granularity when assigning Intune policies and app. So we'll be getting the uh, uh, more flexibility when we are uh, assigning this filter to Intune policy or app deployments. So are used when assign the app policy and the profile. So that filters can be used when we are assigning to app or policies and the profiles so they dynamically targeted device based on the device properties and and you entered properties you entered so I will show this thing like uh, what I mean to say here it, it will be dynamically targeted device property dynamic device property can be your the department can be your version can be uh, your the um, uh, other properties about the devices and so you can include and exclude devices in a specific group based on the criteria you entered it then create a query of device property based on the device platform including Android iOS uh, iOS bad Mac and the Windows client so can be used and reused in the multiple scenario in include or exclude mode so these are the uh, features or the benefit we have about the uh, filters now here is let us understand how the filters is going to work here here so let me move my mouse here here we are like uh, admin creates a filter so like uh, you on me uh, we create a filters here then inside the filters we are assigning a property like on what basis that filter will work as I told it's a device property so here we take in like a device ownership so device ownership can be a personal or corporate so we put like a personal a personal device filters this is the first step then let's go with the second step admin assign policy or app so we assigned this filter under the policy or app so here what will happen uh, um, so we assign like a finance user finance user or the personal devices that is excluded now how the filters is going to work so these are the filters properties something like a filter mode if it is a include or it's the match the filter then overall result it will apply if it is include and but uh, the no match means your filter didn't get any of the data then it won't be applied exclude if you put it like exclude and it match then it don't apply then include and no match it will apply so like it's it's very easy to understand when we'll do the practical things okay so when when we'll go to the Intune console and we'll see how it's going to work then it will be very easy to understand so let us move to second option to third after you assign the, your filter what will happen it will go to the device enrollment and check-ins so here is again like it's a do not apply or the apply so it can be uh, the, the, what type of filter we created uh, we created a personal filter and what we did it we exclude the personal device so what will happen if you deploy any of the application and you targeted all the devices but in that you put the filter uh, for the personal devices so what will happen that filter will apply and uh, if you include 
that means is only the personal device will get that application but in our scenario how we assign this filter it's exclude so that means is personal device will exclude that particular group rest of the device will get the app so here if you've seen it like a personal device didn't get that application corporate devices get personal device didn't get and the corporate device got that application of the policy so um, this diagram i took from the microsoft and uh, I'm, I'm trying to make you understand it so hope you are clear with that once we create a filter with the personal and with this personal filter how we used we used as a exclude that means is in your deployment the personal device will exclude only the corporate device or remain now here if we go the evolution stays like the reporting and the admin view evolution result so guys uh, i hope so this the chart is very much clear let me move it to the next when we apply the filters so uh, this is this is being taken from uh, the intune console that uh, i will show you but here is a one point i want to explain you like uh, three options you will be getting in the inside the filters do not apply include exclude so in which sequence this filter is working so suppose if you applied all three filters in any of the uh, like deployment so how it is going to filter or what is the sequence so first step is the purity will be the exclude second do not apply and third is the include but here uh, here is the example like if you include the filters then these are the like um, properties or this query automatically it will create when you fill the data let us try to understand something with a practical scenario so here is like include and exclude the same things what i explained you here and this is almost the same let us go with this so if you create include and it match then it will apply if it is include don't match it won't be apply and if it is exclude then match it won't be applied if it is exclude and don't match then it will policy will apply now if we have like a more doubts into to understand the filters how it's going to work so here is a lot of examples where the filters group and the assignment so three things come to the picture when you put the filters also you put the group also and you put the assignment also so in this scenario how it going to work so you can pause this video or then you can read it well or you can take a screenshot and you can try to understand these are the examples okay so let me move to the intune console and we'll see the practical session here i think my okay so i log in into intune so now to create a filter where you want to go you need to go under the devices once you click here on the devices the window will open and here is the option for filters let me go here even you can create this filter from the tenant administration as well so there is no difference to creating a intune filter from here and here now let us create a filter now okay it's taking okay so let me create this filter about uh, i can say the windows version so let me check the windows version and uh, i can tell hey, come on the windows version uh, you can put it here like a, a windows type as well let me go to here a windows stand and letters and let us go with this the device name module os version okay so os version the operator is equal and i want to to create this filter with a very specific version name so let me take this version come on okay 
now let me click here and now it's ready so OS version is this and let us try to preview the device so we have the one device here which is detected and the username corporation virtual machine once you create the filter here you create the your condition or you create the your the value then you can click on the preview device so you can get the n number of files here let us go to the next here now and we are done with this now let me see what type of this device okay so this is corporate device let me create a filter for the based on the your uh, the the type the um the corporate or or like a your um personal so windows i can say corporate device let me create a filter for the corporate device so i'm going to here and here and device what what it is device ownership okay so device ownership operator is equal and can mention like a corporate device so again let's preview how many devices are there so if you preview here we can get the list so we have two corporate device in my the intune console so let me go and click on next and the next and now the question is uh, where we can use this filter so now we have two types of filter one is with the windows version that is a specific version and one is the the windows corporate device so this filter will detect only the corporate devices so let me go to the apps where already I deploy the apps here and uh, we'll see let me go to the all apps and we'll try to use this filter so suppose here uh, I have a deployment for this uh, team weaver host setup so I'm going to use the apply the filter here but when you create an application or when you are deploying at the same time you can use the filter but if you want to add it later on you can do that as well so here is here is the assignment let us go to the assignment and what we have we have like a, this uh, uh, include and the available mode so here is the filter option where we're going to modify this so here filter was known and uh, we're going to include this filter so here are two three options and uh, what are the include we are going to do that is the two filters we have corporate and the versions so if you want to include this device version into your deployment then you can select this or if you want to include like a corporate only so what will happen if in your collection which you include here it's having uh, the your corporate and the personal devices so when you include this then the it will go to the um, sorry it's the exclude let me select the include so it will include the uh, your uh, corporate device as well but if you exclude this corporate device so your app your application will post only on a personal devices because you put the filter so let me apply this so now this filter uh now this filter is applied so that's how you can apply your filter on any of the application and where we can apply where we cannot apply this filter let me see okay let me review and that saved it so and uh, how you can do the testing or the troubleshooting or i can say the reporting for this filter I think I don't have any device success here but when you have the device here you can go with that you can select the device and then you can go to the filter once you click on the filter then you can get the reporting part as well 
okay let me just explain this article from the microsoft so these are the filter properties uh, which i shows you you can use the the device name how you can use the device name or you can use the manufacturer you can use the model and you can use the device category you can use the os version which we used or uh, you can use the device ownership that also we used it so you can use these types of filters you can take this article from microsoft when you are creating now here is the reporting and i want to show you something here the reports how you can get as i told like a uh, filter evolution okay yeah this part i missed out let me go to the any of device property and let us select any of the device property over there suppose i have this device okay so i am with this device property and under the device property you can see in the filter evolution so once you click on the filter evolution you can see in the result but i think uh, i i won't be having the much data over here because uh, it's it's my the new lab so just i'm showing the uh, i'm showing you the option when you are doing in your lab or in your the production so you can go with this uh, filter evolution and you will be getting the report as i can show you in this screenshot so filter evolution you can see like this and here is something okay so i was explaining you this part how this um, uh, the assignment works so first purity second purity and the third purity and what else i can show you so this chart already i shows you okay guys so nothing much now remaining in this video and uh, uh, like see you soon in my the next video so thank you guys have a good day